Hello, my name is Dale Segoy and I am an Applications Engineer for Keithley Instruments. This is going to be a short instructional video on how to do a multiple function scan on the channels of the Model 3706. Okay, here's a short demonstration on how to do the uh, 3706 with a multiple function scan. Now, multiple function on this particular uh, card, we have uh, short circuits from channels 10 through 30. That just means a copper short on each of the channels. We're going to go from channels 1 through 10, it's going to be DC volts, 11 through 20, two wire resistance, and channels 21 through 30 are going to be a thermocouple temperature measurement. Here's how we set it up. Well, the first thing we got to do is set up the scan list. Watch this. We just go into push the button, slot 1. First channel is one. Last channel for the first part of the scan, we're going to wheel up to 10. Press the button again to no function. Set DC volts. That's set. Again, here's an important point. Always press the insert button after that. That adds it to the scan list. Now, for the second array, we do the same thing. Press the button. Aha, but here's the difference. Now, when it's blinking on the channel number, we just scroll up to 11. That's going to be the starting of this next set of channels. And instead of 10, 11, we scroll up to 20. And now that it's blinking on function, after we push the button, we scroll over to 2 wire ohms. Enter. Again, important. Hit insert. Add to scan list. Now we've got 20 channels. We'll do another set. Press the button, the wheel, twice. There we go. We're not going to start at 11. We want to start at 21. 21. Press the wheel. Where we're going to end? Let's do 10 channels. So we'll go up to 30. Press the wheel. Select the function. Temperature. Press the wheel. Insert. Add to scan. Now. How many times are we going to go around those 30 channels? Let's just pick 10 times. So what we have to do is go to Configure, Scan, all the way over to the right, select Scan Count. When it's blinking on Scan Count, we hit Enter. It's set to 1. If we were to push the wheel so the little edit light comes on, then we just scroll up to 10. Enter, exit. Now it's set up to go through those 30 channels 10 times. We need to do one other thing and that's to store the data. So let's press store, create the buffer, enter. We'll leave it at the default name of front panel buff one, enter. Now it's set up for a thousand readings. If we were to press the Let's go over to th this cursor, press the button, scroll down to 300 because 10 times 30 is 300. That's how many readings we'd have. Enter, exit. We're all set. Now all we have to do is press scan. Watch the front panel. We go to background, enter, there it goes. Watch it going through all those going to take a second or two. Done. Now let's prove that we have stored that data and that it's switched from channel to channel, function to function. So all we have to do is hit recall. There's channel 1. It's set to DC volts and here's the time. We can just scroll up. You can watch the scrolling. There's channel 2, still DC volts. Channel 3, okay, all the way up. Now at channel 11, I would expect it to go to 2 wire ohms. And there it is. Channel 11 is at 2 wire ohms, measuring a short. It's less than an ohm. We could do the same thing. That's 10 channels of that. And then at 21, it goes to temperature, 22.96 degrees C. With a short circuit on that, that's about what I would expect at room temperature. And the same thing. We can go all the way up to 30. If we go to 31, it should go back to DC volts. 
for that's the second scan. And the same thing again, 31, 32, 33, 34, all voltage. 41 should be resistance, it is, all the way up to 50. Then 51 should be temperature, and there you go. And that is how you do a multiple function scan with the model 3706, just with front panel controls.